In this tutorial, CFD simulation of an axial compressor with circumferential groove casing treatment shall be demonstrated. Let us open the baseline axial compressor OTA CFX file. We shall now create a casing groove model to place over the shroud surface of ROTA. We shall be using Unigraphics software for modeling the casing groove geometry in this tutorial. Let us import the shroud curve of the ROTA domain. We shall now create a circumferential groove of width 8 mm. Let us trim the groove part with rotor shroud surface for creating proper interface in the CFD domain. We shall now save the CAD model and export it to neutral format. Casing Groove Mesh shall be generated using ISEM CFD software. Let us import the casing groove model in ISEM CFD and specify the units.
Let us create the part names for each boundaries. Let us use block strategy for creating the mesh. Let us specify the rotational periodicity condition and create periodic vertices. We shall now specify the mesh size for the casing groove model. Let us save the project file and export the mesh to ANSI CFX format. We shall now go back to CFX preprocessor and import the casing groove mesh domain.
Let us now create the boundary conditions and periodic interfaces for the case in Groove Mesh. We need to create interface between the case in groove opening and shroud surface to create connection between groove domain and rotor domain. Let us now go to mesh editor and create a separate mesh region in the shroud interface surface. This will be the important step in this casing treatment modeling. Now let us provide the interface between case and groove opening and rotor matching surface in the shroud region. We shall save the case file and start the CFD solver. Simulation is complete and we shall post process the results.
Let us plot velocity vectors showing flow entering the groove domain. We shall plot the flow streamlines inside the groove domain.